it was just a very different vibe. Yeah. No, but I'm glad it was that show that I got to do that with because we were so comfortable with each other. We had such history with each other. So I think that really helped, you know, kind of get away from the weirdness that was happening on, you know, on a set that normally we wouldn't have to do. What's up, everyone? Victoria here with popculture.com. And today I'm talking to the lovely and beautiful Miss Tiffany Thiessen. Hello, Aww. beautiful. How are you? Hi, I'm really good. How are you? Good. I'm good. Well, we were just talking about the weather in LA and in Nashville, and I hear it's hot out there. It's hot. We don't have the humidity like you do. So um, I'm, I'm thankful for that just because I'm a California girl and the humidity is a little rough for me. I'm just not yeah. used to it. I don't think. I don't know. I just, I didn't grow up with it. So it's, it hits me a little harder than I guess some people who have had it their whole lives. Like my husband, who's from Texas, he's Houston and it's very humid there. Yes. You get used to it, but it still never gets easier to deal with. I used to live in yeah. LA and I was like, this is yeah. great. We don't have humidity out here. And now, no I'm humidity. But then you have drier skin, drier hair. Like your skin's gorgeous because it's humid, I'm sure. So. Yes. The moisture does help, I will say. Yeah. Good point. Um, well, first off, last year was such a doozy for everyone. Um, and this year, I think people have you had anybody say amazing year? Right? <laughs> well, actually, Can you imagine? Actually, some people say that, really? like, believe it or not, work wise, they did really well uh, aside of the pandemic. Like, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Said the pandemic was good, but like, right, some right. people ha- actually had a good year, but yeah, yeah, it- yeah, yeah. How was your year this year? Well, I think there's been silver linings, right? There's been a lot of silver linings. I think a lot of people can say that. So yes, it may have been a tough year, but um, I'm super fortunate and blessed that I was able to still work. I was also, you know, I feel blessed that I got a lot of good quality time with my family. I mean, there's a lot of silver linings that happened. A lot, a lot of cooking time. Yeah. Maybe some days more than I would like, but you know, I follow it your, is what it is. I follow your blog and I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to try the crispy chicken salad today. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so wait. good. I can't yeah. wait. Um, well, congratulations. Cause I hear that you got, uh, your first Emmy nomination. I did total shock. How does that feel? It was felt very surreal. And I'll be totally honest. I felt like so like it was a misprint. I was like, I think they got it wrong. <laughs> Um, because well, the funny thing is, is that, you know, it had been a while since I had done Alexa and Katie. So it wasn't even in my brain, like to think like that the show was still even eligible to be nominated. You know what I mean? And granted the last year was such a beautiful, amazing last season of Alexa and Katie. And, and I was proud of the work that I put into the show, but I just don't think you ever, I just don't ever think of that. I, I really, it was not on my radar at all. It was a total shock. I didn't even know it until a friend texted me um, saying congratulations. And I, and Tiffany on a, on a text chain from all of us um, yeah. in, from the show, like the producers and the actors and the actresses and all that. And then they singled me out saying, congratulations, Tiffany. And I was like, but like wait, for what? It's, it's the show, you mean, what do you mean? She's like, did you not see? And I literally, I was shocked, completely shocked. Oh gosh. Yeah. That had to be such a fun surprise for you. Especially it was a good, it was on a Monday like this. And it was a really sweet Monday. My <laughs> husband wasn't home. I called him. Uh, he was breaking in and out. He couldn't hear. He's like, did you say Emmy? What? It was like so funny. It was hilarious. And <laughs> oh, my kids are watching me like scream through the house. And they're like, what are you screaming at mommy? Like, it was yeah. so funny. Oh, that's so exciting. And speaking of your husband, you guys celebrated 16 years of marriage together. We did. What, can you share with us a secret? A long, successful marriage. I know marriage is work, but like. It is work and tell, I mean, the last year has been a hard one for so many. Like Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time with my husband just because we don't work like normal nine to five jobs. So we do spend a lot of time together, but you know, the dynamics of being home with children, it was very different. And it truly, I think made a lot of marriages, you know, work hard. We had to work harder for sure. Um, What I can say about 16 years, I mean, both of us have very good role models. Our parents are still married. His parents are at 53, I think this year and mine are 57. Yeah. Um, I think that has a lot to do with how we look at marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of patience, a lot of patience, which also goes into the parenting role as well. Like, I think you need patience on both. Yeah. Um, and we try to laugh as much as possible, like truly try to laugh. And I still like them. 
-hmm. most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> but again, like, you know, like we're good. I do like him. He's such a, he's a good guy and I like him. And I think that says so much, like, you know, like, Guys. yes, you can be in love with somebody, but like, you gotta like them. Like, like to me is almost a bigger word than being in love with somebody. I don't know why, but I just really like him. Yeah. Well, you're not stuck in the euphoria stage of love. If you actually like agree, him, uh, that's exactly that. right. It makes absolutely. It I, yeah, you know what? No one has ever said that before. And and now that I think about what you say, that's going to stick with me forever because that's a really yeah. good look at it's it. It's true. Like love is like, it's it, love is like, I don't know. It's just love is love. I, you know, yes, I love him. Of course I do. I married him, but liking someone I feel is almost like a bigger word. It's a bigger, like, I don't know. It's like, you, you know, you're married to someone you're expected to love that person. You have children, you're expected to love your children, but like is a different sort of adjective, you know? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is. Listen, it sounds like you're doing just so great in your personal life. <laughs> so excited okay. to hear that you have so much going on. Uh, I want to talk about some projects with you. Yep. Obviously, we're going to talk Saved by the Bell. You, it's of just course. It's too much of a I, classic. I expect it. Okay. I know. I expect Listen, it. We're going to touch on it just quickly. Um, okay. Obviously, the reboot. You got, I mean, I can't help but to think that that back when you auditioned for this role, you got this role. Um little did you know at the time it was going to be like this iconic show that everyone just yeah. loves and now it's coming back for a reboot it did first yeah. season you got second yep. season coming up what yep. did it feel like being a part of the reboot just looking back like wow we started this yeah. years ago and now like yeah. we're making another show about it because they love it so much yeah yeah no it was it was kind of a it was not a normal like start to a show one because they actually started the the season before mark paul and i even came on Mm -hmm. So they had started the show before. And then because I was doing Alex and Katie, Mark Paul was doing a show called Mixed Dish. They mm -hmm. didn't have our stuff until the very end. And then, and then COVID hit. So we, yeah. it's, yeah. So it, it was kind of a very surreal sort of moment because, you know, Mario and Elizabeth and the rest of the new cast had already been shooting and they got through most of the episodes yeah. until the stuff, until we were free to be able to start shooting and then COVID hit and everything shut down. So we were supposed to shoot our stuff in March, I believe when COVID got and everything started shutting down. And so we didn't get to go back until September of last year to finish the stuff that we never got to start and to finish actually the season off. Um, and we were the very first TV show to go back in Hollywood, literally like the very first one to go back with really strict protocols. And it, so as much as we were super excited and we did have a great time, I'm thankful that I had those relationships with Mario and Mark Paul and Elizabeth, because being on set after all of that happened, the protocols and the testing and the distant, like we couldn't be normal in that sense. And I'm glad that we had that already chemistry and relationship to hopefully break down that sort of weirdness that everybody was kind of like yeah. having to be separated. We couldn't hang in, in the dressing rooms together. We couldn't, you know, like be together even on set unless we were shooting. We had masks on, you know, even during rehearsal, um, we were testing every single day, you know, before we were even allowed on set. It was just a very different vibe. Yeah. No, but I'm glad it was that show that I got to do that with because we were so comfortable with each other. We had such history with each other. So I think that really helped, you know, kind of get away from the weirdness that was happening on, you know, on a set that normally we wouldn't have to do. Absolutely. No, I totally get that. Um, part of the original cast, Dustin Diamond, with the loss of him. How did you guys have yeah that when you first found out yeah it was again kind of a surreal moment um you know no one knew that he was having health issues I, I guess he really didn't know either um you know it wasn't a relationship that we talked to him very much I mean it's you know it's we're pretty public about you know there was a lot of a lot of things that you know that he he felt and said and 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 he just wasn't even in in our sort of circle anymore, you know, he, he had moved away. So I hadn't talked to him in years. Um, but he always had a special place in my heart. I mean, I grew up with this kid and, and, um, so it was, it was hard to hear that, you know, like, um, very surreal. It was very, very surreal. Um, do you, do you ever struggle to break away from the identity of saved by the bell or do you mind it? Or do you kind of just like, 
guys. I, it is what up. it is. Yeah, no, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I think I, I probably struggled with it more when I was finished shooting and was trying to do other work. Yeah, I had a harder time, you know, trying yeah. to get people to break away from that. Um, but as I've gotten older, I mean, it's part of my history. I can't, I can't deny that. It's okay. But it's a double-edged sword. You're kind of like, hey, I guess so. Yeah, 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 true, um, true, true. Well, listen, you've done deliciousness and which I think is so great. Um, what, fun. I mean, it just seems fun. I mean, you like, literally no, it's totally fun. Quality yeah. laughs on that show. And I, I, I think they probably spend more time cutting out the laughter of us because we're constantly laughing. I mean, truly it's, I don't even call it a job. I mean, the, yeah. the hardest part, my paycheck goes to me standing in heels all day. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like the rest of it is so much fun. So easy. The, the chemistry. I mean, I had never met any of them. I knew who they were, but, but you know, Angela and Tim and Kel, like I had never met them. I could not love them more. They truly make me laugh from my gut. Um, I love the chemistry that we've created and I, I hope it's a show that will keep going. True. Yeah. Cause I, I actually have a lot of fun with it. It's fun to watch. And I love your posts on Instagram. Um, just with everything food, like you take the yeah. fun. It, I feel like this is a great show for you because you get to talk about food and yeah. Oh, totally. And laugh and giggle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all need that. It's like, yes, agree. It's one of those shows that you don't need to, it's not, you don't need a lot of brain yeah. to it. You know, yeah. just, you can kind of let it go. Yeah. It's an escape. I love that. Um, um, but speaking of food, you did partner with Nutrigrain and you've got did. fun stuff going on there. Tell us why this was a must for you. Well, you know, it's funny as, as a parent of two kids um, and, and, and one that's younger, a six-year-old, a new six-year-old, um, I think every parent can relate the fact that we're, we feel like we're constantly negotiating things as parents, right? And one of the biggest things that we negotiate is food, snacking, what to snack on, what are we having for dinner, you know, and Nutrigain came to me and they actually gave me this statistic that I was pretty surprised with. And then I was like, wow, actually, that makes a lot of sense. Half of parents spend about nine days negotiating about food, nine days. Now, then we ask, well, what would you rather be doing those nine days than negotiating with your children? Right. Well, yeah. a lot of other things. And one of them was, well, I'd love to be vacationing with my family, actually spending quality time, not negotiating or fighting. Right. Yeah. So we have this great, um, you know, entry of, they're actually going to give five families, um, a family vacation up to $10,000. You have to follow Nutrigrain and comment on why you should win. Um, and we're going to give back that time to five families to have a really good bonding experience with their family, which I just literally took a vacation, an RV trip with my family for 11 days. So I highly recommend the RV trip. It was quite fun. It was actually very If I had all day to talk to you, that's what we would talk about because I've always- The RV trip? Yes. It was so fun. It was so fun. Oh my gosh, girl. So anyways, yes, that's what I'm doing with Nutrigrain. It's one of those things. My kids are obsessed with Nutrigrain. It's one of those snacks that I have in- my pantry that they can grab in the morning, even when we're running late to camp, like this morning, like that's what they grabbed. You know, I'm getting ready for work to be on camera today, went to the gym, you know, and I didn't have time to make breakfast. I felt very comfortable knowing that they grabbed that. Oh yeah. And they're really good. I mean, that's what I was given when I was a kid. And I yes, amazing. <laughs> yes, um, of course. Well, listen, what's next for you this year? I know you've been kind of busy, but what's next for you? Yeah. Uh, I start shooting again for Save by the Bell next week. Um, and that'll go until the end of August. And then um, I'll be starting cookbook number two, it looks like in fall. So That's exciting. a big project. So that'll be really fun. Um, and so, and hopefully more deliciousness. We just finished uh, the second season. So I'm hoping to go back soon. Perfect. Yeah. Love yeah. To- You're always a pleasure to speak with. I oh, think- thanks, honey. It was like before the pandemic, right before Save by the yes. Bell. Right before, yes, and it was yeah. a while ago, and so it's yeah. just so good to see your face and and to hear oh, thank you. you. Congratulations! Well, have a good rest of your week. Oh, thank you, honey. Thanks. Well, you have a wonderful day, and uh, thank you. All right, Better of fun. course. See you next time. For more on Tiffany Thiessen and your other favorite celebrities, make sure you keep it right here at popculture.com.